Alright guys, Liam here, welcome back to a new episode of How To Fuck, and this one is very, very old and delayed. Um, I've spoken in videos before, I felt the disaster that faced us when it came to fuck champions and the gameplay. I just don't know what to do, to be honest. I mean, there's so many games, I actually played like 30, I think, for this one, and I got like gold, gold 2, gold 3 maybe, but... We got some decent rods. Originally, I only thought we got one mega pack and a 50k pack, which is why I wasn't so excited for it. You know what I mean? Um, I was actually, you know, I was like, oh, it's not that good. It's just like a foot draft. But then I realized we got two, and I was like, oh, this is actually worth it. And we got like, did we get like 45k, 25k, something like that, which is still very good for you know playing, you know, 30 games. And um, I really want at one point in the series to get elite free. Because I just want to get that team elite pack for glory to glory. That's gonna be so good. And um, I haven't actually qualified, and this is a Thursday I'm recording on. Actually, a Friday now because it's one o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> this will go up about six on Friday, and I'll probably still not have qualified by then. And I'll probably leave it to the last minute, and I'll probably go out, which is what I usually do. <laughs> I usually waste all four attempts going in the first round because I just sometimes just go off the boil really and completely fuck it up. Anyway, back to Nandes again. A very decent player to get. He always sells for some reason. I do not like using him. I prefer using Han. Uh, but probably still a good striker in the game. Depends what you like to do. I'm going to use Han in the Bundesliga team until we can afford like Aubameyang or Lewandowski. Um, you know, players like that. And then we get the rare players pack and I was just like, ah, uh, just the, the small, this is the only, the only small flair. And um, we get Gustavo. Yeah, they weren't the best rewards, were they? And it's just an awful pack, isn't it? Like, Asimo is the best player in there. We get Goretzka. It was just an awful, awful pack. And um, we were, bear in mind, you don't get the rewards straight away. You have to wait, like, five days or four days after the thing bloody finished. They can't just give you it at the end. Like, any normal sort of reward you get with, with the fuck draft in particular, you just get the reward. You get to open it. You have to fucking wait. And I waited for that. I waited for uh, about... Uh, how much is that? I can't think I may have... Oh, yeah. So, 15. I waited for about... I'm going to say... I can't remember how many coins I got, to be honest. So, in pack rewards, I waited for about 20 to 25k in rewards. Um, and I've seen people get better out of... Uh, 25k packs in one player, so it's just uh, not really, not really um, too great to look back on. But hopefully, I can maybe get what, 100k pack this week on this account. Um, I want to do the thing where I call it like quits at a certain level because um, you can get rewards of like you can get. I think silver one is 100, just one or 100k pack and then some coins. But then I went to gold three. I got. 35k packs and um, a 50k pack but when you get to gold 2 you get a rare 2 rare mega packs and a 50k pack and more coins I don't know which one's worth it though and it's just that dilemma of wanting to go one step further and I'll end up playing all the games again and losing all the games again like I did towards the end I had such a good run I was like I was on course for Elite 3 and then everything just fucked up and I gave up <laughs> because I just knew I wasn't going to get there wasting my time anyway we're moving into this foot draft here, and we're just um, the team doesn't look too good at the moment. But we, as long as we keep picking, you know, players relevant to the um, to the team, I was sort of going for a BPL the league of mix with the likes of um, the likes of Aspas. I don't know why I picked Aspas. Though. I should have probably picked um, Coman for the bench. We get a boy in there who sort of links the team together, but he's not going to be playing at CDM. I think we play Sal at CDM instead, due to them getting the strong link. And um, it's a very straightforward draft. I was actually feeling I actually wanted to play a draft. I think this is the um, one, apart from the free ones, this is about the third online draft I've done this year. And I was feeling good about this one for some reason. Usually, I've, I've, I haven't actually, I've won two, no, three this year. Um, obviously, excluding, um, excluding, like, I don't know, <laughs> excluding. Um, the possibility of winning this one. I'm not going to allude to anything here, but um, yeah, excluding anything on this account, 
externally I've won three foot drafts. Um, uh, I think one on my main account, and I have this weird account where I just play games to a sort of in only foot champions and draft. And I've already made like 100k. I've got Marshall and Benucci in a pack. I also got Leno as well from winning it twice, and so it's pretty decent rewards. And hopefully, we can sort of make a lot of coins out of that one. But it's mainly focused on this one today. We've got two players pack, we've got Dyer. Um, I don't really know why I'm opening these still, but we get past Doppelopoulos, or uh, no, Socrates uh, from Dortmund, which is still a good player. We get Antonio as well. We're sort of building up a BPL uh, mix of players um, in the untradeables. We've got Sane, we've got Son, I think. Uh, we got Son. Um, did I show you Son last episode? I cannot remember. Um, actually, we can't have done. Did I show? Oh, I showed him at the start of this video. We skipped it. Um, I was the comment right here. We got Son. Uh, I spent a fair few coins getting him. I think. Have I, have I done it? I can't remember. We get Son eventually. I can't remember. I'm so behind on these videos, man. Um, it will either be in the next one or um, yeah, the next one where we also I think we just do a bit of a qualifying maybe. I don't really know what's coming in the next one to be honest. We have to wait and see. Anyway, we come, we win that game, the first, like, last 16 round, I think it's called, um, and we move on into the second stage. I was still pretty not confident in this team, I was pretty uh, doubtful of its potential going forward, because we just didn't really seem to get anywhere, but we scored the one goal, um, and it sort of sets us up for the rest of the game. Look at this fucking free kick right now, this is the best free kick I've ever scored. Just the curling, curling shit over the top of the wall, and... I had to watch the replay. I'd never watched replays, even though I've scored good long shots from outfield play. But a free kick, and also the driven one over the wall, and keeps up no chance, mate. Just get fucked. You know, just so good. And um, we try and see out the game here by doing a bit of passing play. But I've corrected this now um, by playing, you know, trying it, sort of seeing out games. If you want to win foot draft, you've got to see out the games. Uh, we get we win 2-1, it's just a bit disappointing because we did dominate really and um, we should have really won about 4-0 but you know it just puts a, puts a bit of doubt on the scoreline. You know it says there that he had a lot of shots a lot on target but I know for the possession I have I didn't really create chances with this team. As I said I was still doubtful of uh, its potential going forward. Um, I should have really won about 4-0 and um, in this one I sort of set out with a more attacking mentality in the previous games I was too busy passing around we get a pretty stupid goal there Parejo sort of falling over on the ball that is a foot champions goal for you uh, foot champions goals are really either really well worked or really really shoddy all goals like that just sweaty um, which to be honest people usually get really angry uh, um, uh, when people score sweaty goals against them I'm more angry when I do shit defending um, we make it 3-0 here though, and this guy does indeed, I think, quit out 3-0, because there's obviously no way back in the game for him. He feels that. I've come back from like 5-0 down, as I've said before many times, a story, you know, probably good sense now, of the, the, the amount I allude to it in videos, that it could be bullshit. It's not. I've also given away 5-4 leads in the foot draft, so, um, so talking on both sides, uh, both sides of the, the pitch here. In terms of, of uh, giving away leads and retaining them as well, um, I tend to. If it's a half time and I'm like freeing them down, I'll still play um, properly because I feel you know if I get a goal really early on, there's still a lot of chance. If I'm like, if it's still free nil in that 70th minute, I do start to just take long shots. Um, and that was a great goal uh, from Sanchez, making it two nil. And I think in this game we sort of did manage to see the game out. Or no, it was a bit of a dodgy disconnect, as I remember. Uh, a bit of one of those ones where I think uh, both of us may have got um, uh, DC'd and that he would still be in the foot draft. Or maybe he quit, I don't know. He might have turned off his console. I don't see the point, because it was only 2-0. But he's lucky if he did manage to end the tournament. And I hope he won, because I don't really know. I want everyone to win. Anyway. This is a pretty decent reward to be honest. We get a premium gold, a rare gold pack, a mega pack, and a premium gold players pack. Very good reward to be honest. I haven't had to get coins from the draft. I'm yet to get coins. 
uh, which is probably what I would, we would most want on this account. Because our pack luck isn't the best, um, we haven't really got anyone game changing yet in our pack, uh, apart from, you know, Sanso. But Sanso's going to be staying here for the rest of the year, no matter what, unless he gets like a ridiculous inform, like third inform or something, he gets price to go through the roof. I think he gets someone more beneficial. We get Koke there, which is very decent. I was very happy with him in the 25k pack. I love 25k packs this year. If you haven't seen my Twitter, I packed Inform Isco and uh, Scare Card Adderese in a 25k pack, and I was very, very happy with that. And once he gets boosted, he's going to be so much, he's going to be 93 rated, and I'm going to just sell him, mate, just get rid of him. Anyway, last pack we get Zela, and that's going to see off the video. Uh, Koke is our most expensive player, obviously, and we do in, in have a decent foot draft anyway. You know, we get decent rewards, and we don't get swindled at all, make our money back and then some. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. A new, more, probably more um, up-to-date video will be out soon. And uh, until then, I'll see you.